Hi everyone, it's Antina back with another art therapy video. I hope you all had an amazing holiday. I hope you got to spend some time with your loved ones, your family, and really just take the day to relax, eat some good food, and I hope Santa was good to you guys. For today's video, we are going to be doing a little bit of reflecting. Now, as we all know, the past year has been crazy, to say the least. There has been so many changes, a lot of things that were taken away from us, but at the same time, we gained a lot. And I think it's important to really focus on your perspective and how you thought the year was and how you feel about it. I know I mentioned last week that we are going to need a little bit of supplies, but it is nothing that you won't have laying around. However, if you don't have these things laying around, let me know comment down below and maybe we can incorporate it in your next art box. I know these supplies have been delivered previously. All you're going to need is a piece of paper. You can use a blank piece of paper. You can use construction paper, whatever you have lying around and something to draw with. Markers, crayons, pencils, again, anything that you have lying around. Now what we are going to be doing today is called focusing on words of intention. When I say word of intention, what I really want you to do is think about this past year. Think about the good things about this year. Words are only as powerful as you make them. And perspective is crucial to having a better outlook on life. And I know that is definitely easier said than done. Everybody has good days, everybody has bad days, and that is exactly the reason why I wanted to make these videos for you. I want you to have something to look back on when you're feeling stuck, when you're feeling stressed, unhappy. I want you to be able to look back on some of the previous videos regarding grounding techniques, we made stress balls, or just the simple act of making art. We have some amazing artists at Corey's place and I have been overjoyed with looking at your work while we are stuck at home. However, I am so glad that you guys took the opportunity to make some of the art projects and make them along with me. I can tell how hard you guys have worked on these projects. Now, let's get started with our word of intention. When I think of the year 2020, a lot of words pop into my head. I am going to go with the word change. If you would like to do this along with me, grab a piece of paper, grab your markers, and we can get started.
Hi guys, I just wanted to hop in quick and let you guys know that you do not have to use the same word as me if you want to use a different word or if you just want to do a doodle of your name. You can absolutely do that. Also use as many or as little colors as you want if you just want to use your favorite color that is absolutely okay. Remember our artwork does not have to look the same and that is what makes it beautiful is when you make it 100% your own. Your art is a reflection of who you are and I want you to remember to do art that speaks to you not just have it look like somebody else's. Um, another helpful tip if you want to outline in pencil first that might be a little helpful um, and that is it and say hi to Elsa. All right guys this is my word of intentions doodle <laughs> and I love the way it turned out. I loved making it too. When you're when you're making art, I don't know if anybody else does this, but I like to play music and just really sitting down and not thinking of what this is going to look like in the end. It is really interesting how how your artwork turns out when you're just kind of doodling. I know the word change is an interesting word. Change may make you feel uneasy, stressed. However, I am choosing to change the way that I look at the word. When I think of 2020 and what this year has brought, obviously there has been so many things that are different from previous years, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing. Throughout this year, I've had the opportunities to make videos for you guys. I've had the opportunity to talk to you on the phone. I've had the opportunity to talk to your parents on the phone and really get to know more about you and more about your family and it is honestly really cool. I probably wouldn't have had this opportunity hadn't it been for everything that has happened and I know that there are a lot of bad things that happened throughout this year however with it being the end of the year New Year's being this week, I am going to focus more on the positive. And I think it's important to do that. I know that when we were open, things looked very differently. We weren't going out as much and doing all the things that everybody is used to doing. However, I think that Tara and the rest of the staff at Corey's Place did an amazing job at really making the best out of a bad situation. And the next time you talk to them on the phone, maybe let them know how you feel. I truly think it's important if you have something good to say about somebody to let them know because you never know what somebody is going through. I think that when you tell somebody that you appreciate them, you can really turn around their mood and make them feel really great. I know I said before, words are only as powerful as you make them. So I am choosing to accept the word change as a positive thing in 2020. It has brought a lot of opportunities and I am glad that I got to make these videos for you and I really hope that you enjoy watching them. If you do make a word of intention 
doodle. Please send a picture to the Corey's Place cell phone number or on the Corey's Place website. You can comment down below for this video. I will be making another video that will go up this Friday back to our regular schedule and you will be receiving another art box next week. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see what your words of intentions are. I hope you guys have an amazing New Year's Eve and you're looking forward to what 2021 will bring you. Remember, words are only as powerful as you make them out to be. And I hope this video encourages you to take that power back and give words the meaning that you give them. All right, I will see you guys at the end of this week, and I hope you have a great week. Bye.